Well, it's Monday and we got a new tool in. Uh, this one here is for storage and it's a great price for the features. I've looked around at the big box stores and other places and this one here had a fabulous price with nice features, looked like a really good item. So uh, we're gonna unbox it and put it together and take a look at it. It's for like, you know, your power tool, like your power drills and impact guns, that sort of thing. And it's storage for it. And it also offers some shelving and whatever. So we'll take a look at the whole thing. And I think it's a pretty, for the price, I think it's pretty impressive. So let's get going, yeah. I've got the box open and I'm gonna lay it out on the counter here so we can all have a quick look and see, and then we're gonna put this bad boy together and take a look at it for features and stuff, like I said. Boom, okay, I laid it all out. There's a big backboard, uh, sideboards, and there's some trim pieces here. There's some interesting looking slide pieces. Also, I've got two of these for like screwdriver holders or something. Like I say, it's a whole power station area where you can store your drills and stuff. So I really like that idea of organizing certain things into categories where you have it all in one spot in your shop. And as long as you put it back, you will be able to find it. Now I'm gonna, there's boxes of screws and hardware. I'm gonna put all this together once we look at the instructions. <laughs> and if you're a woodworker, this should put you right in line with uh, happy day, you know, because this is gonna keep you busy for, for, the, for a while. Well, I put that together rather quickly, didn't I? <laughs> really like these. These are really nice charging type stations for like your portable drills and all that. And, and this is on an angle. So it's really cool too, because you can put your charging uh, pieces your, you know, up here and you can see little green lights flashing to know that your batteries are being charged. There's slots in each side, so you can run your cables off to one side. So you don't have to, you know, you can keep it real pretty looking. Uh, two things. First off, it's 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 really big. It's bigger than the one I checked at a big box store whose name I will not mention right now, but uh, this is a larger unit and it has these two nice shelves, a small one and a big one, and it's deep, you know, it's, it's reasonably deep, which I like too. The other thing was um, the size of it and the weight of it with the screwdrivers on the side stuff and all the tools up here, this thing's gonna be pretty heavy. So. They include a really nice heavy duty kit for anchoring, but what I would do, because my other charging station I built years ago, uh, I made sure I found two studs in the wall, you know, with a stud finder, and then put deep screws into that wall to make sure that that station, this, you know, was going to stay on the wall kind of thing. Uh, so I recommend not using their anchor system. You could use their screws. But I would find a pair of studs 16 inches apart in an you know, average home and try to make sure this thing's up on the wall really good. Yeah, you don't want this thing ever come down. <laughs> the other thing uh, that was sort of, I, I ran into it and I, I talked to them, they, they said, yeah, uh, these are a little bit too tight for some tools. So what you'd have to do is you can take the screws out of here, pull these out, file them or sand them down a little bit sand them down a little bit and then uh, you can open up the grooves a little bit more to fit larger tools that go into these slots. The uh, the unit comes with, uh, it's a little tight for like the Craftsman, the Ryobi and also checked out the uh, the rigid uh, power tools I have and none of them really fit easily in here. They fit a little tight and so you, you know take them out, sand them down a little bit, put them back in and customize it a bit so it'll fit your tools, you know. And like I so said, with this uh, angle top, which was really, again, with, that, with the picture that Vivor sent me, I didn't realize. Surprise, it's from Vivor, yeah, you know. <laughs> what they sent me with the picture, I didn't see this top as being on an angle, so I wasn't happy about that. But when I saw that it is on an angle, with the, so the power stations, you know, the charging stations, whatever, can sit up here. Plus you've got this little rail right here, so stuff won't, you know, slide off. 
Excellent, you know, good. It was well thought out, well planned. It's an easy project to put together, but it was fun. You know, it was just, it was reasonably fun to throw this thing together really quickly, as you saw. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this backboard is almost 5 8 thick, so it's a very heavy backboard on here. Uh, a lot of companies that are using, you know, some real thin, almost cardboard-like stuff back here on the shelving, and I get a, you know, it's like, eh, you know, when you put how heavy power tools and start throwing tools and drill bits and everything else up there, it gets heavy. It's like, it's like not a good idea. So the, the uh, lumber back here is really good. Great price, really good price. And uh, hang all your different power tools, yes, up to five. On the side of the charging station, you'll also see that you've got two of these, but this one on this end, uh, these holes don't go right through. So this would be great for like, you know, you could put all your drill bits in this right here and have them all right there available. And I'm gonna flip around to the other side. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, and these holes go right through so this is where you could hang your, your your screwdrivers and stuff or I've got small socket drivers that I use a lot with my power stuff and again There's nine holes and I have nine sockets just so happens so you could fit them all right here So this thing offers quite a quite a bit of feature for what it is You know it, it and I love the fact that it's all made of wood. So let's talk about real-world size The first thing I'm going to tell you is I'm going to measure this right across it's almost 34 inches wide, so it's like I said, it's surprisingly good size, and the depth on it is nine and a quarter inches deep. Uh, I think we're, yeah, nine and a half up here on this shelf. So overall, the thing seems to be just big enough that it can hold all my goodies and still have more room to take on some more goodies. So it's, I am, tell you, I am really impressed with this uh, little kit here from Bebor. All right, so let's talk a little bit more about things. Uh, because this is all wood, you could drill holes in it and change the features around, so you could really customize this thing for uh, the way you want it. In order to fit these drills in properly, uh, I took the center of each of these, uh, this one here and this one here, took them off, ran them through the saw, took an eighth of an inch off. Yeah, just sliced an eighth of an inch off and then put them back in. And of course now everything I've got fits really nice and snugly in here. But I was thinking about modifications and stuff. Because it's wood, it's easy to drill holes and you know do whatever you want. This thing is so impressive. I'm really happy with it. Uh, I put my uh, little power station down here that's from V-Bar. And it is a really cool item because it can take electricity directly in off my solar panels. and create AC at 300 watts, which will be more than enough power to run all my charging and including my camera charging, all that stuff up here. I'm gonna show you a device I used. This uh, has been plugged in for over a month with uh, just a little over a month. And uh, it was on the old uh, charging station that I have like this that I home built. And what it did was it measured all those uh, batteries charging, all the chargers running, plus the camera chargers running all the time. And I realized it's probably adding up. And I have a number today because I, I took a reading and it was 18 kilowatt hours was used in a month. So that's like, okay, it's not expensive huge, but it's still 18 kilowatt hours. If I can knock 18 kilowatt hours off my electrical bill, I guess, you know, it's, it's a win situation. So uh, down the road, what I want to do is I'm going to put this, locate this out near where my solar panel power feed and everything else is. And I'll run all my chargers, my, my camera chargers, everything will run off solar power and be charged day to day from solar instead of using the household grid. I like to get away from the grid. I'll provide you a link below in the description where you can find one of these. You just plug it into an outlet or a wall or into an extension cord or whatever it is you need and plug your load that you want to read in the other eye, uh, in the, the, this end here. And then it also comes with a little extension cord too if you need it. Uh, and then you can set it up to cost per kilowatt hour even so you can measure the actual cost of something that what it's costing to run and these things are so cheap and yet they they can be a lot of fun or interest you know uh to find out what something's costing so uh i've had this for a couple months but i've been testing different things in the household to see what uses electricity what costs more money kind of thing and these are only i think they're around 15 dollars but i'll give you a link below in the description where you can find these at amazon it's an interesting item now, we need to get, uh, we need to finish this up, but uh, wow, this is gonna be an interesting project overall. And I'm gonna be doing some very different uh, things with this because uh, I really, really, really like, <laughs> this, is, this is the one I was looking for years ago. I ended up trying to build my own because I couldn't find something like this uh, anywhere available. So, Vivor, you really did a great job on this. 
we're going to uh, finish up a draw from last week and there was kind of a con weird conflict of interest and it was really strange because what it was was I was showing a uh, the all power power station. Now they're not having any problem with me whatsoever about it but the thing was we also wanted to give away the, the uh, other power station that we have here as a prize for viewers and it, that's that is a conflict of interest so it was like well we'll push everything off to Monday or something so today let's draw for the uh, graph wood carving set and then we will move over to the uh, the big prize I'm giving away like yeah next so and I really do it even smells like wood you gotta like that you know yeah <laughs> okay I cleared my mess off a little bit yeah so we can get to these graph carving discs. Uh, a link will be provided in the description below where you can find these. They go on an angle grinder and they chew up some wood. If you're into carving wood or you take something off, they can really make an interesting uh, quick job. Just you know, wipe that wood off. Now, I'm going to put the tickets in the coffee pot, the coffee uh, jar here. These are all the entries for... I'm going to send you, whoever wins, I'm going to give you both discs, the, the curved and the straight. Well, that way you, you have them both. And please be careful with them. They are tools. They'll hurt you. Oh, we'll mix up the names. <laughs> oh. Uh, the AC is running. Okay, I've got sound isolation on, so my voice might sound a little weird, but it's because we're blocking the air conditioning noise because I've got the AC running in the uh, garage today. It's only 100 and I think the heat index was 112 the other day here. Brutal. <laughs> All right, I'm going to get my hand in there and mix them up. See what they look like. Uh, yeah. Now I got one here, caught my fingers here, slightly torn off paper here. Oh, beautiful. This guy has won quite a few things, I think, off the show. But yeah, Keith, you got it again, man. Orange City, Florida. Hey. <laughs> Congratulations to Keith. Yay, you got them. Keep on mailing these things out to you, and then we're going to set up for the next draw as soon as I get this cleared up. Boom, we're back. Yeah, this is the next thing we're giving away. Ah, uh, this is nice, and it's kind of expensive, but it's really nice. It's the, the Plume 300 from uh, Egritech. Uh, they sent this over a while back. We did a review on it. It's really neat. Uh, let's get out of the box here for a second just so you can see what the heck this thing is. But it's a uh, really... Very, very portable uh, power supply with a, uh, it's heavy. And it has the 110 outlet right here and you can charge it either in your home, on your car, or charge it directly from solar panels. So it's really, really a nice kit. And it's brand new. We're gonna put her back in the box and ship it to you this way. Yeah, oh boy. All right, we'll just leave it out of the box. I can't get it back in there again. Anyway, uh, we did a show about it a while back, review a couple of weeks ago, and it is really nice, very compact power supply, but great for emergency power, camping, RVing, or just having some kind of backup for your computer, your modem, for internet, uh, anything like that. Yeah, yeah, lots of good things, lots of good things about that. Now, so how are we going to get in on this one? Same old, same old. Yes, we're going to email to ctrewards at gmx.com in the subject line. Yeah, in the subject line, let's do, let's do uh, 300 watts or 300. Just put 300 in, and that way we'll know, you know, that this is uh, an entry for this. And then in the main body of your email, all you need to do is just your name and address, like a postal return, complete name and address, of course. Yeah, and we will split up tickets. And we'll pull them another, for the next draw, and we'll be drawing for this. What a great prize. Yes, yeah, somebody's going to be lucky, and this thing's going right to whoever it is that, that's a viewer. Uh, one entry per household, of course, like always. In the meantime, I'm going to get out of here. It is hot. I've got the air conditioning off in here right now, so you can feel the temperature just whoo, you know, coming up. Thank you so much for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, subscribe, and ring the notice bell so you don't miss out on prizes. I'm out of here. Whew. Over and out.